good morning students this is sing sir welcomes you to our favorite youtube channel so students today we shall discuss the modern test paper of english grammar standard 5 we have completed all the chapters from english grammar and today we shall discuss model test paper here is the first question define the following and give two examples of each I have already taught you in our previous classes all the chapters. Among them, with all the chapters, some important questions are there for you in the. Model test paper. So the first question: Define the following and give two examples of each. At first, we have to define these nine points one by one. the examples will be given point by point number 1 sentence we have to define sentence what is that a group of words that makes a complete sense a group of words that makes a complete sense is called a sentence is called a sentence example khushi is a good girl khushi a good girl number 2 manu is eating rice it's a sentence it is a meaningful sentence these are the combination of group of words with a meaningful sentence then second phrase what is a phrase a group of words that has meaning to a sentence is called a phrase for example on the table and another one in the room these are the phrases so students what is a phrase it will be easier on your part to make you understand that a phrase you will find no verb A phrase does not have any verb. That is called a phrase. You see, on the table, no verb is there. In the room, no verb is there. That is why it is a phrase. Then number three, clause. What is a clause? Let me define the clause. A group of words which has a subject a group of words which has a subject and a predicate and is a part of a sentence is called a clause for example he has a chain he has a chain which is made of gold he has a chain which is made of 
gold another one all that glitter is not gold these are the clothes number 4 subject what is a subject subject is that part of the sentence which names the person or thing we are speaking about it is called a subject for example ram is a good boy here you see ram is a subject the earth moves around the sun the earth is a subject then comes predicate what is a predicate predicate is the part of the sentence which tells something about the subject the predicate tells something about the subject for example the earth moves around the sun here the earth is subject then the rest part of the sentence is called predicate moves around the sun it's a predicate this story is very interesting this story is a subject then is very interesting it's a predicate then comes assertive sentence what is assertive sentence we have to define first we have to define the assertive sentence then we have to give you the examples a sentence that makes a statement is called an assertive sentence a sentence that makes a statement is called an assertive sentence for example he is a good leader he is a good leader second example he is a humble man all these are examples of assertive sentence hey students for several times i have been telling you what is an assertive sentence that is a declarative sentence what is a declarative sentence that is a simple sentence so here are the examples of assertive sentence then comes interrogative sentence what is an interrogative sentence you have to define an interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence is that which is associated with questions the interrogative sentences are associated with the questions and having a question mark at the end of the sentence how should recognize how should see how should understand understand what is an interrogative an interrogative sentence must how as the last part of the sentence there is a question mark for example do you speak hindi question mark did nitu sleep well question mark then comes imperative sentence the sentence which is used to convey a command a request is called an imperative sentence if when you will go when you will go higher classes then you will be learning more about the imperative sentences order command request everything in our higher classes you will be learning this for example do the homework properly teacher 
tells you do the homework properly obey your teachers this is an advice obey your teachers it is the example of imperative sentence then comes exclamatory sentence what is exclamation what is an exclamatory sentence an exclamatory sentence makes a statement that conveys strong emotion or excitement it refers to the speaker's strong emotion and excitement it is called exclamatory sentence for example how beautiful the sky is how beautiful the sky is what a fool you are then comes exclamation marks exclamation mark must be there this is the end of the chapter one model test paper question number 1 then question number 2 what is a determiner use any 10 determiners in sentences of your own what is a determiner a determiner is a word that comes before a noun and shows its limits such as a an the all to both this that my your some any each every little few a few many much etc and etc so here is it 10 examples for you about the determiners about the determiners i am a good boy i saw an elephant the sun rises in the east give me some apples what is your name my father is a teacher this is a good boy there is little sugar in the pot that is a tree there are few students in the class many people are going to the fair then question number 3 what are these things choose from the list number 1 tennis is dash here is a box for you and in the box so many words are there you have to choose the appropriate word from the box and write them in the gaps tennis is a game tennis is dash tennis is a game a rose is dash a rose is a flower a dog is dash a dog is a bird a pear is dash a pear is a fruit a shark is dash a shark is a fish a snake is dash a snake is a reptile the sun is dash the sun is a star the ganga is dash the ganga is a river a carrot is dash a carrot is a vegetable the earth is dash the earth is a planet a hammer is dash a hammer is a tool a butterfly is dash a butterfly is an insect then question number 4 fill in the blanks with a and b one or ones fill in the blanks with a and b a and b 
or one or ones number one see sham is sham it was a sad dash it was a sad one look at the dash moon look at dash moon how bright it is look at the moon how bright it is there were dash aeroplane in dash sky there were sorry there was an aeroplane in the sky our teacher gives us dash test every month our teacher gives us a test maybe or one test maybe a test every month i like cold paints but this new dash is also good but this new one is also good it is not a dash easy thing to climb dash mountain it is not an easy thing an it is not an easy thing to climb the mountain these caps are cheap but those red dash are costly but those red ones are costly these flowers are not fresh give me some fresh dash give me some fresh ones then question number 5 write questions for the answers here is here you see the students here is answer for you and you you have to prepare the questions basic upon the answers relating to the answers yes i have got some friends the question will be have you got any friends yes i have got some friends number 2 no i had nothing to eat then the question is had you anything to eat no i had nothing to eat question number 3 yes i saw someone at the gate then question did you see anyone at the gate did you see anyone at the gate yes i saw someone at the gate question number 4 no there was no one in the room here is the question was there anyone in the room was there anyone in the room no there was no one in the room question number 5 no i don't want any tea thank you then the question comes do you want some tea do you want some tea no i don't want any tea thank you then question number 6 use the correct form of tall and tall we the then or others neha is dash girl in our class neha is tall girl in our class neha is the tall girl in our class no other girl in the class is dash her is as tall as her she is dash any other girl in the class she is taller than any other girl in the class no other girl in the class is dash neha is no other girl in the class is astralaj neha is not she dash a giraffe 
is not C astral as a zero is not C astral as a zero how tall is dash woman in the world how tall is the woman in the world so students this is the end of the class and it is also the end of the grammar section standard 5 tarjun holy faith international term 1 then in our next video we are going to start term 2 very shortly please away and watch our videos if it is like by you so if you are satisfied with these tips and tricks if you are satisfied with this then give us like comment and share and that is the end of the class as well as that is the end of the grammar section holy faith international standard